All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. And we be sailing across the sea, trying to find and explore new islands. So, there's that one over there. There's this one ahead of us. It's got fires on it. Fires mean pirates. This one looks kind of familiar, rather tall. We're going to go ahead and fight the pirates, loot them, and then we're going to get off the island because this island definitely looks familiar. So we hadn't been to that one. Interesting. I mean, we're in an unmapped and completely foreign ocean to us. In an archipelago of unexplored islands. There are tons of rocks on this island. Yeah, we've definitely been here before, but these pirates should serve... I think there may have been a treasure chest on here, which we were not able to um, basically get the booty from before. So what we're going to do here... Oh, he's already coming at us. Look at that. Headshot. Oh, these guys are a little glitched. We, we wanted to make it fair. Tree fruit, gold, one gold coin and one arrow. Because we put that one in his head. So that was a rather poor and impoverished pirate. This island, these pirates, you know... I could hire these guys. I got enough gold coins. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? A little mountain blade. He's not even hitting us. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Boy, get wrecked. Alright, so we got tons of stuff. This is how you're gonna basically want to get the big pirate ships. I don't know how we missed that, honestly. I tried that new attack, I just wanted to see what it would do. Deer meat, four golden coins, and a broken pirate axe. So we're gonna go ahead and save up here. Then we're gonna loot this stuff. And by loot, I mean harvest a weak boulder. Oh yeah, that was actually pretty decent as far as like weak boulders are concerned. Nothing too exciting. Look at the moon though, I mean, for such an early stage of development, I'm a big fan of this game, like, and I know I haven't told you guys that at all. So pull out the sword, get a ton of wood, how many are we going to get? One, two, three, four, five, six, that's pretty good, I'll take it, there's another pirate. He just ran, how did he know? How did he know? I mean, he could have seen us. Ooh, there's something over there. Oh, that's the chest, isn't it? Oh, my order's off here. Two gold coins. If that's the chest and it hasn't been plundered, then it was kind of good we made our way back here, honestly. Treasure chest, ladies and gentlemen. Plunder and booty. That's what we're all about. Pristine deer meat. Four hardstone arrows. A compass! Yes! Oh my gosh. Thank goodness for a compass. Now we can kind of get a feel for navigation. We have a sextant which gives coordinates. So between the two, we should be able to learn how to traverse the water. Yeah, there's no maps. And there's no kind of like GPS-esque type, uh, you know, map system in the game that you kind of see in other games. But this give, really gives you a feel, is that a weak folder too? Of what it would be like to try to navigate in the olden days, man. That was a weak boulder. Truly. Living up to its name. We gotta explore more. So we have used our key, we don't have any more keys now. All right, we want to find a new island to explore, and we want to get there and explore the vast unknowns of the wilderness of salt. What's this? An old weak boulder waiting to be mined, but these things have like, ooh, that one actually had a gem in it. I was literally about to say how boulders get boring, 
because you know what's going to be in them. And guess what happened? I found a gem. Like, really? I found a rough topaz. That is why this game can be so freaking amazing. Alright, so we'll save and go to this island over there. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go to a far island. We'll save up. Our health is slowly coming back. We're getting a little hungry, but we have tons of food now. And we're now not afraid of the dark. No longer. Actually, we came from that direction, yeah? Oh, which is the other one with the fires? This is the one. With the what? what? That one over there. We're going there. It's been decided. These water effects, man. I wish they worked a little better for me. I'm assuming that's something with user error. Like, look at that. Maybe we should... Maybe we should, uh... Oh, and you can just escape save, if you haven't noticed that already. Alright, we're gonna go to that island, and we're just gonna go wild. And we're gonna explore, man. I just wanna explore everything there is to do. Oh! You what, mate? Oh, God. There we go. More sail. That's good. If we if we encounter one of those large pirate ships, we should be able to um, basically build it up. All right. So we're gonna go to the B menu. Right click our raft. Hop on it. We'll till her off a bit. Hit the sails. And then we'll get in our preferred place to sail now. See, this looks a little more realistic. I look just off center of the tiller. And if you unhold E, you can just look around. I would love to see creatures, sea creatures, man. Even some, like, mythological ones. Um, and honestly, this game could go in that direction. Like, the possibilities are endless. All right, that's a deer. I don't know. This, this island looks kind of familiar, too. That one over there, giant rock in the middle of the ocean. Like, it'd be cool, honestly. Lava boots. Please don't be afraid of the Steam Workshop or the modding community. Um, there are other games. Your game is beautiful. And we will love it till the end of time. But if you allow Modding Workshop, like look at Space Engineers or Minecraft, things like that, where people's imaginations get to run wild on what, you know, the beautiful infrastructure that you created for us. What is this? Black Flower. I believe that one. It, whoa, 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 what was that? Oh, that's a rock. We're looking for fruit. Um, I mean, imagine like a multiplayer one, like like their competition ones where it's just like, there's a fort over here, there's a fort here, and we have pirate ships, and we're going back and forth, and it's just like kind of a multiplayer battle. What was that? Is that a rock? It's a log. Stuff like that I would, I would just be a huge fan of. Um, yeah, so don't be afraid of that embrace it and this game could explode because it fully deserves to because it is gorgeous it's amazing i love playing it we're kind of going to be running through the bamboo because uh yeah we definitely have been on this island so we're gonna hop off it our food's getting kind of low we'll we'll look for some fruit because i did find i believe this may have been the island that i first found fruit on so we're kind of backtracking a bit but luckily since there's a new patch you can always find new stuff and there's a lot more hi -ya, dear i missed him this is a white flower plant fibers we need lots of plant fibers don't get me wrong but yeah i would love to see um where this game goes i i i wish i was notch because i would just dump like millions of dollars into it right now because it's beautiful. And the potential is just immense. And that's what I'm about. What is this? Oh, I thought this was a, a fancy boulder. Because I, I saw grass. It made it look like it was one of those green ones. Now, over there looks... Oh, there's the pirate ship. Alright, we're going to see if we can't get it. We're going to get that pirate ship. And we're going to sail the seven seas for days. Months. Plundering booty. Cartographing 
this world. Don't you love how I just make up words? Because, oh, I did. Grubs. Yeah, there's so much more loot now. And by loot, I mean just, like, stuff you find. But where would be the fruit? We'd love some fruit. I kind of forgot what kind of trees. It's not on this kind of tree. Dear, dear, dear. Oh, the sun's kind of going down. There's the pirate ship over there. So we're going to first go to that. What's on top of that island? There's something... Could it be a deer? It could be a deer. So what we're going to do, we're going to sail over there. And then we're going to gather stuff and then we're going to go to the pirate ship. So we kind of made a giant circle. But we needed to, honestly, to get the materials we needed. We needed to because we needed to. And that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Me hearties. Yep, fire to the left. It's just, I mean, come on. And this is so early in development, like, imagine what could happen to this game. I always see shadows just kind of like silhouettes on these islands. You're like, what is that? I don't know. So we got ourselves a treeless island. We're going to need to eat something. So let us have some deer meat. Sail to this island, like... This would be a great island to build, like, a fort on, you know, and you have, like, some big old guns on it. You can command the waters around your island. Be cool, like, if there was maybe a mod or something, or maybe that's where the game might go, because there's definitely an exploration aspect, and if you were to just be able to build a base on an island, you may not want to explore as more. Um, but then again, your island would be small, so you'd probably get bored easy. So actually, I take that back. Even if you could build a base, you definitely want to explore more. Um, you might put more time and energy into... Let's go ahead and self craft ourselves in navigation, because you definitely want to make it back. So I don't know. There's arguments both ways. Coal and wood. Hey. All right, so we got ourselves a torch here. Gonna map that to key four. We're gonna take down the crafting menu, pull up that, pull up our sword, and explore this island. Look at that. Deer and pirate ship silhouette off in the distance. It's beautiful, man. This game is amazing. Links in the description, download the demo, try it out for yourself. Survival games, exploration, like, the truth is, and I've said it a few times before, Minecraft was the game that got me to start YouTubing. Um, and I could go on, uh, you know, more in depth into that story at some point in the future. I thought I saw a fire on this island. But this game is kind of reminding me of that just, like, fun I had the first time playing Minecraft. I was actually in Singapore, living there. Go ahead and figure that out. Yeah, it's a fun story. Um... I don't see anything on this island yet. It is nighttime. The moon is not out. If the, oh, we got ourselves a pirate. What's up, bro? You mad? He's mad. End to death with thee. Oh, we got pirate pants. Heck, what the tits was that? Did you hear something? Creepy. That was weird. Alright, so we're going to put on these pants. Now we'll check our person. Look at that. We've got nine armor. And we can sail faster as a result. So that is fantastic. I can't see the ship. I think, yeah, it's definitely over there. There's two fires. We're looking for moon rock, man. We really want that moon rock sword badly. So exploring it in the night once again. I'll let you know if we find anything good. There be pirates. One down there. And one up there. It'd be cool if you could do like stealth kills. But, I mean, obviously that's, you know, not the highest priority. It would just be cool. Come fight me! Oh. 
Right click, block. Right to the neck, son. Decapitated, only golden coins. There was one up there, I can see him right now. I think that's him. We got ourselves some wood logs, we'll save. Grab that, oh that was legs, I thought it was wooden logs for a second. We're gonna fight ourselves one more pirate. And then, we might just leave this island. Come get it! So we shot him. Now will he charge downhill at us? Here we go. We got ourselves a mad pirate. We'll fight in the firelight. Huh. Look at our health, man. That's low. Alright, so this guy should give us an arrow. Yeah, and three gold coins. Definitely not worth our life. And we're gonna have to heal ourselves. Using, do we have white potions? We have red spotted mushrooms. What you use that for? We're gonna heal ourselves. You feel better. Of course I do. I just fought myself a pirate battle. Feeling fantastic. Health's going up. We're gonna save that again. Where, oh, where is the pirate ship at? Here we go. Plant fibers. Strong plant fibers. I think that might be used for the fishing pole, actually. Deer. And I think we need one of the tree fruits, actually. Let's try to craft a fishing pole. Where's my bamboo at? So we're gonna have to get our bamboo. Go with the strong plant fibers and then one of these fruits. Ripe tree fruit. There we go. Or can we can we try I wanna use see if I can't use it a nope. There's nothing to craft with the normal tree fruit. What about juicy fruit? Nope, nothing with that either. Just ripe tree fruit. We got ourselves a fishing pole. I think. Haha. <laughs> now where is it? Bamboo fishing pole. So we're gonna go ahead and map that to key five. We're gonna skip the night and we're gonna try our hand at fishing. I've heard, actually, we can use our interesting, oh God. We found ourselves a sheer cliff face. Not the best place to fish. Can we get up? Oh gosh, thank goodness. We need to find ourselves a little bit of a beach. And we'll fish there. Alright. You must equip bait. Makes sense. Um, now how would we do that? We need to find grubs. Yeah, we're actually just trying to your guts. Huh. Can't really see. Now what do I press? Left click? Probably left click, right? I've never fished. I don't know how to fish in this game. If you've seen my Twitter, I've caught some fish in real life, posted some pictures there. So once the bobber goes down, we pull. Normally I like to have like a little finger on the line then you can just feel the bites. Just tug it at the right moment. Where you at, fish? Fishy fish! Fish? Fish? Fish! Normally if you talk to them, they're more responsive. This could be a lengthy process. Caught smallmouth sea bass. Alright, we just went fishing. Now, there's the pirate ship over there. We're gonna try it one more time because there's certain fish that only come out at night, I believe. And we're gonna go ahead and put ourselves a grub. Let's see if the bait is any different. So you basically just wait for it to bob. You'll actually hear something. Left click. It's pretty easy. Um, it is a waiting game. Is it a waiting game? I think there's, there. I don't know if there's really rhyme or reason to the timing, so it might be randomized. 
which makes it interesting. See, this game keeps it interesting. Now, that was a worm. We did deer guts. What about... Grubs? Thought we had that too. Compass. Let's try a compass. Let's see what we'll catch with that. Antlers. Yeah, antlers would work great, huh? Thorn vines. I thought we had some other things. Like grubs. I don't know. Look at that. We got... Oh, they... Not a whole lot. Small but delicious. It's good to know. Actually, let's eat one of our sea bass right now. Nom nom nom. Not a whole lot of food right there. Let's go fishing again. So we had a long one, we had a short one. Let's see what this one is. Gots to go fishing. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. I think it, I think it helps. You know. Come on. What if we catch like a shark? <laughs> or a mermaid? Mythological creatures associated with pirates and sailing the high seas long, long ago. I feel like we're about to catch a fish. You know? We're about to catch a fish. We're not about to catch a fish. Are we about to catch a fish? Oh! Poisonous yellowfin. Now, I don't know what to do with that. Oh, here's our grubs. Try grubs. So we have worms, grub, and deer guts. We'll fish a little bit more to kind of see if we if we encounter some of the night fish. Now, actually, I don't know where the moon is. If the moon's not up, that could definitely affect. Because I think there's like a, a shiny fish, which probably only comes out when the moon is out. That would make sense to me. A lot of things only come out when the moon's out. It's dark and mysterious. The night is. Obviously, the moon is bright and mysterious. Hmm. All right. But, yeah, wouldn't it be cool, like, to see as this game progresses if you get, like, sea turtles and... I'm serious, like, big sea monsters, like squid, maybe even a kraken, stuff like that. Once you get cannons and crew members on your ship and stuff. Come on, Bobber. I would like to see stuff like that. Or at least, you know, the options. May not in the core, but you know, like Steam Workshop supported mods, custom stuff like that. Be interesting. Alright, catch me a... Smallmouth sea bass. Alright, so we've done enough fishing. Let's go up to the fire, we'll save, and in the next episode, we're gonna get ourselves the big pirate ship. Climb the rocks. You will climb them. Our torch is probably gonna go out soon. So we caught three small sea bass. Oh, you know what? What if you take your rat, okay, see, this is the thing. If this is in the game, I'm already impressed with the fishing system. Um, when you fish off the shore, you're going to catch smaller stuff, usually. Now, if I were to take my raft offshore, where the tits is a fire at? Um, you know, throw my line out, we may catch bigger fish. Also, I would imagine the kind of bait you use affects it. I uh, see, I would be a person who would use all the resources possible, and I would use the pirate's fingers as bait. You know, I would, man. If, if I'm alone on an island and I'm hungry, I would do it. Obviously, I'd try to befriend these pirates first. Have them work for me. Man my ship. There's the, uh... There's the... The, uh, the giant ship off in the distance. We're gonna go repair that, man. I think we've got what we need. I'm pretty excited about it. Tittle sticks, man. We're just gonna have to use, we're gonna have to create a fire. There's a deer. Come here, deer. Come here. That deer, man. Screw you, bro. All right, let's craft. Let's craft a fire. Nope. Yeah. Because we are going to skip 
the night time. Get over there. All right, where me, where be my fire at? There you are. We'll save it, and then we'll rest five hours. Bring me the daytime. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, we're going. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Next episode, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna check out that giant pirate ship. My name is Baron, thanks for watching. Make sure to give the video some love. Also, any tips, suggestions, conspiracy theories about this game, leave them in the comments below. I love reading that kind of stuff on a game like this. So I'll see you guys in the next episode where we get the giant pirate ship. We don't have a key to unlock that dang chest. See you next time.